Hi, welcome to PySquare Academy, myself Shekhar. In this lecture, I'll discuss why gate terminal, I mean gate signal has no control over the turning off of the tyristor, SAR. There are different approaches to explain this. Let me explain with the help of two transistor analogy. Most of you are aware of two transistor analogy through little complex mathematical analysis. I'm repeating, you know the mathematics behind the true transistor analogy, two transistor analogy but most of you don't know the most beautiful thing behind this two transistor analogy. I will try to uncover the beauty of this and try to relate this to the question. What is the question? Why gate has no control over the turn off of the thyristor? I am pretty sure you are gonna get something new so watch till the end. By the way if you are new to the channel subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified on our new uploads. We all know about the SER. SER is a powerful device in power electronics and power electronics is the most powerful device powerful as in high power withstand capability as well as a high reverse voltage blocking capability but there is one problem with this device what is that yes this device is a semi controlled switch what is the semi control means semi control means turning on of this device is in our control i mean gate control gate terminal control but not the turning off of the device. If you want to turn off, gate has no control. Why is that? To know the reason, let's get to the simplified structure of the SER. Yes, this is the most simplified and colorful structure of the SER. It has two terminals, anode and cathode. And of course, there is one more terminal because it's a semi-controlled device. Every semi-controlled or fully controlled device will have at least three terminals. So this also will have another terminal called gate terminal okay gate voltage you are applying here anode to cathode forward biasing voltage so i am making it black and white for making it simple okay and to make it further simple let me remove these okay now it's a simplified one most it's looking so simple it's a four layer device ser is a four layer device and three junctions and three terminal device ser is a four layer three junction three terminal device you know about it now, let me bisect this entire SER right over here. I'm bisecting this SER like this. Okay. Now, let me separate these two. This is one part, this is another part of SER. Let me separate these two parts. See here, this is actually one part, one SER. I'm just splitting it into two halves like this. This is what two parts of SER. Now, did you notice what is this? PNP. That's a transistor. PNP transistor. What about this? NPN. That's a transistor. So, this entire portion is an SER. This is SER, right? So, this SER, we are splitting into two transistors. Let me remove these parts also, NPN, PNP, you are clear with it, I am removing these also. Now, we understood how SER can be represented with a beautiful animation, how it can be represented with the help of two back-to-back -back connected transistors. This is transistor 1, let me take, this is transistor 2. Now comes the beauty. So before getting into the beauty, let's see what is a transistor I means uh, I'm not going to get into the details of transistor I'm just taking a few important equations of transistor so that that will help you a lot okay one of the important equation is emitter current is equal to the base current plus collector current another important equation collector current is equal to alpha into emitter current plus some leakage current ICB naught Okay, I'm not considering that leakage current. For the time being, let me ignore it. Okay, now this is the first thing. And the current directions. This is what the emitter terminal, emitter terminal, emitter current, IE1. Careful. These are current direction for this P and P. Current base current will be like this. 
for first that's why I'm writing 1 and here collector current will be IC1. Now what about this? This is NPN transistor. This is emitter current. We have arrowhead here. That's why this is emitter terminal IE2 and this is IC2. This is IB2. This is what you should be aware. Okay, these things what I written just now. Okay, that should be known to you from the transistor. Once you are aware of it, now we can rock. Okay, we can get to the conclusion very easily, very nicely. Are you clear with it? Now, suppose I am giving a forward bias, this anode to cathode, cathode is anode to cathode, this SCR is forward bias, I am taking this case. What is the case? This SCR is forward bias and it is not into conduction, SCR is not conducting. Okay. Now, if you want to turn this SCR on, if you want to turn this SCR into on state, I am giving very small current here. I am giving very small current here. Careful. Now comes the beauty. I'll change the color of the pen. What's the beauty? I'm, I have just given a small gate current. That gate current will go into this, this base, right? The base current is increased for transistor T2, base current has increased. This base current will increase, this base current will increase this IE, okay. This IE, once this IE is increased, IC will further increase. This IC has increased means giving this small gate pulse has changed a small value in base current that small current has increased ultimately this current. So current of course direction this way up arrow I am giving means increasing okay. So this current is increasing means this base current has increased. This base current again will further increase this collector current because base current will increase this IE, base current will increase IE, this IE will increase IC okay. So this current will increase this. Now this IC, IG is already there. Now this IC will further increase this IB. Are you clear? Just applying KCL. Just applying KCL. Small value I have given. This has increased. This will increase. This will further 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 increase. That's a cumulative process. This entire process will happen in very short time. This entire process will happen in very short time. Okay, so now once this is increasing cumulatively, this will be driven into saturation, this will be driven into saturation because both are cumulatively happening. Now, even if I remove this current also, it doesn't matter because there is a cumulative avalanche has happened between these two. This is also driven into saturation, this is also driven into saturation. Okay, both are into saturation now. Now, this current, entire current, both are driven into saturation. Now, this emitter current means, that's what the anode current, anode current will be high, means this SCR is latched. What is that? Latched. Okay. Now, even if I remove it, it doesn't matter. There is a cumulative exchange is happening between, between this itself. So, it's driven into on state. So, gate terminal has lost the control over this current, over this cumulative avalanche. Are you clear? That's it. So this is what the beauty of, you know, two transistor motion. Are you clear? Now what do you understand? Gate, we can turn on with the help of gate, we can turn on, we can get this SCR into latched state. Latch means it's on state. Okay. But we cannot turn with the help of gate. Are we clear? If you like this video, hit the like button, share this video with your friends and we already launched the courses, different courses, Powerlighting course, network course, links are given in the description, okay. You can take the full course, if you like the classes, you can take the full course, just check the description link, you will get all the details. Thank you, see you in the next lecture.